Let's take a look at this Japanese circuit breaker box. Over here on the left, we have a main switch at 50 amps. In the middle, we have a ground fault interrupt circuit. And over here on the right, we have all of the individual circuits that are nicely labeled. Japanese homes are wired split phase, very similar to homes in North America. We have two hots, each at 100 volts, 180 degrees out of phase with one another. So we have 200 volts between them. The middle wire is a neutral and it's colored white. On the other side of the main 50 amp switch, we have the ground fault circuit breaker. We have one small breaker right here that's not protected from earth leakage, and that's because it's a gas sensor. We want the gas sensor to continue working regardless of what happens to the other circuits. The individual circuits are at 100 volts, except for one that gets 200 between red and black. Ground is also provided here in the box, but as is typical in most Japanese homes, individual outlets don't usually have a grounding pin. That wraps it up for our Japanese circuit breaker box. I'm going to go ahead and put the panel back on.